Let's feel good. Um, and I want to touch on little women, little girls. I want to start from like the beginning when uh, what we are as women, little girls gain their confidence, feeling beautiful, getting their hair done by their moms, their sister, their grandmothers. Um, I have a few clients who are still struggling with how to look after their kids' hair. And I want to reach out to women to tell them, let's go back to basics. Let's go back to having your kid, little girl between your knees on the weekend, doing her hair, twisting it up, talking about it, loving it, so that we don't have issues later on where girls don't know how to look after their hair or how to maintain their hair. Um, and they end up with struggles of either um, hair loss or just a whole lot of not loving their own natural crown. Um, so one of the things I touch on a lot is the technique of how we look after our hair, how we touch it, how we stroke it, how we feel our kinks and curls, how we mold it into different forms. It can be braided, twisted, Afro, all of that. We need to celebrate that again, I think, because we've, we've kind of lost it with, and I know Angela, you're on the different spectrum. You are hair extensions, so. We have to bounce off each other on this. We, we can work with that. <laughs> <laughs> because you, you, you cover it and I expose it, but both are just as beautiful. Absolutely. But we have to remember to love our own. We're, both, we're both hair rocking our own hair. Absolutely. So, yes. Uh, so, yeah, I want to I wanna talk to women or make women feel really good about their own hair. Now, um, working with Derek Clement's hair care system, which I quite enjoy and a lot of my clients enjoy, the tear system I find is quite ni nice because it breaks it down to simplicity to make, make people know what to use, how to use, and when to use it. Derek, you want to go through tear one for us? Uh, absolutely. Uh, thank you, Julie. Um, thank you, Angela, Brother Roots, wonderful team. Uh, that's how we do. So as Julie said, the tear system is very straightforward, very simple. Uh, it's designed and uh, developed with one simple aim. The aim is to ultimately ensure that your hair gets a sublime treat, a feast of products that are um, with ingredients that are uh, indigenous to us. Um, and, 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 and I'm really passionate about ingredients that are indigenous to us because these products that are indigenous to us are uh, sustainable and uh, we we focus an awful lot on the uh, Jamaican black castor oil as our main base it's a, it's, it's it's what drives the, the range you'll see it everywhere it's Jamaican black castor oil and why is it why I like the Jamaican black castor oil? I keep saying to all my clients and friends and people who follow us that the Jamaican castor oil is indeed the elixir of oils. It is the holy grail of oils. It is the oil that, in my opinion, has everything in it. It's antibacterial, it's antifungal, it's antimicrobial. Those terms are important, okay? It has the, the omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids because that's what hair needs. Hair needs food. Hair doesn't grow externally, it grows internally. So you have to ensure that you are well balanced. So we talk about uh, an awful lot about um, being holistic. So you have to be physically, spiritually, and mentally whole in order for your hair to grow. So that said, I'll run through the range very quickly as Jilly asked me to. So the range consists of nine items, because nine being perfect, perfection. And uh, there, are three, uh, there, there are three tiers, tier one, tier two, and tier three. So tier one starts, we call tier one, the, uh, the cleansing tear, which is shampoo, conditioner, and co-wash, or should I say shampoo in the order, right order, shampoo, co-wash, and conditioner. Now, I don't like to uh, expose the, the hair and the scalp to too much shampooing. And I think because of the natural movement, we can afford to do that. So I always say to my client, shampoo just once, very gently, and continue shampooing with the co-wash. The co-wash is a moisturizer and a hydrator and a 
uh, uh, nutrients and gives the hair food from the very beginning. And of course, we've got the conditioner at the end. Okay, so we know after that, we wash, we shampoo, rinse off, block dry, and then we move on to tier two. Tier two is essentially all about feeding. So at this stage, we start to moisturize, we start to nourish, and we start to hydrate the hair. So tier two begins with the boba, which is a wonderful plant uh, that provides a great food. It is uh, seven times more vitamins and oranges. There it is. And then, of course, once you've, you've drizzled the boba on the hair to give the hair hydration or nourishment, we go into the hydrating, followed by the uh, moisturizing. And tier three is all about feeding and applying food to the hair. In the, in the traditional sense, how your grandparents, as Gillian said, how your grandparents used to do you as a little girl. You part the hair half in sections and you apply the, uh, what, we, we've got the hemp. Uh, so we call this a hair growth treatment. This is ideal for people who are suffering from cicatricial alopecia or people who are suffering from traction alopecia. But it's a food at the end of the day because it's got, it's, it's got shea butter in it. It's got vitamins E in it. It's got Jamaican black castor oil. And then we've got, we've got the uh, hair and scalp food, which is really wonderful. This is a perfect uh, hip protector also. This is great for your skin and of course the hair shaft. And then finally, we've got the sheen oil, Jamaican black castor oil, sheen. Now everyone wears, every, everyone who goes to the hairdressers are used to the idea of a sheen spray. The difference is with our sheen spray, it's food based, whereas the old fashioned sheen sprays were predominantly alcohol and just an atomizer. And that to me was kind of damaging. And in fact, in my opinion, carcinogenic. So that's the tier girls, tier one, tier two, and tier three. Okay, now, now people listening, I'm thinking for the women who are listening, who probably think that's a lot. Now, Angela, <laughs> take me back to when you were little and you got your hair done. I guess our experiences were different, but for me all those tears doesn't sound like a lot to me because it makes you take your time with hair to understand the hair to feel it um a sunday afternoon in my household five women in my house was everybody getting their hair shampooed and then you have a towel on and one by one you get your hair done it took the whole afternoon and it was beautiful because you had a whole bunch of women together so it's not just about doing the hair, just connecting, laughing, talking. Um, it, it wasn't just about the hair, but Derek's uh, line puts us back into take your time. Okay. Don't you feel that? Take your time. Absolutely. Go, go yes. Feel it and celebrate it because every bit that you use on the hair, you feel the movement, you feel the moisture, you feel the texture, and you're there, you're having a conversation. You're having laughter, chit chat. Somebody might be eating. It's we've got to kind of bring that, not to lose that. I know the world is moving fast, <laughs> but something's got to stay rooted. And for me, I want to keep that grounded. Absolutely, Gillian. I totally agree with you on that. I, I would most definitely say that um, as a little girl, as a, a young child, um, I, I was brought up first with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. And um, my grandmother, the ritual, it was a ritual. Um, <laughs> the ritual consisted of, it would be a special period of time, a day. Um, it would always include a shampoo, very natural. I always remember very natural products. It could have involved um, um, aloe vera, because aloe vera is known for the use of as a shampoo and a conditioner. So I remember as a little girl that 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 was a ritual. It would it's almost like the day would be set aside for that. Um, and again, once once that was done, the Jamaican castor oil or coconut oil, which was made naturally by my grandmother, would, well then, would then be used on my hair. I, I found it, um, <laughs> I wasn't a lover of having my hair washed <laughs> because um, I, I found it was very delicate, you know, and as, you know, somebody washing your hair and being a child, you wanted to go off and play. So having to sit there and have this ritual carried out mm -hmm. um, appeared to be time consuming for me because I wanted to go out and play. play. Mm -hmm. but. I remember being transferred, coming to this country. And again, that ritual continued with my mother. 
but it was slightly different because it was it was more of um, a family time where all of my sisters on that particular day we would all be coming to have our hair washed, we'd have our bath, we were getting ready for the Monday. And it was a time of relaxation. And like you say, sharing, mm. sharing, you know, and very relaxing, you know, having your mother or somebody delicately put their hands through your hair and massage and comb and section um, seemed to be a, of a time past. It wasn't hurried. It Not wasn't hurried. It was a moment in time that was sacred because that's our time for sharing and, um, and imparting those, those good things, which we thought at the time were, you know, we took for granted. We took it for granted until we got older and started to wanted to go into the more um, um, astute type of products, which really and truly were more chemicals than natural. So we, lo we lost it a little bit as we got older and as things progressed. Well, That's got... where I think that, that, uh, that, that was lost in, in translation. <laughs> well, we, we've, we've got to bring that back. You know, unconsciously, yes. saying it now, I did that with my kids without realizing because it's what I knew. And yes. my, kids, my kids have mixed race hair. So yes. there was quite a lot and I would have a free tier, I'm standing doing my daughter's hair. And then she's, because uh, my, my son had a long ponytail when he was little, she'd be standing in front of me doing her brother's hair. And <laughs> that came unconsciously. That was just a rhythm that we had. Yes. Obviously I introduced that, but it was a beautiful time. And when I asked them now, they remember it clearly as a time when we would be together yes. doing hair. Absolutely. And it wasn't, it wasn't like I planned it. Well, it's Sunday. It's time to get your hair shampooed. And it's what I know and it's what I do. And I want to bring that back for some of the mums. How you detangle. The, you know, it's just that connection between um, whether it's son and mother or children and mother. Yes, I, have yes. a, I have a friend who was raised in a predominantly white family. She's mixed race. And she said to me for the first time, first time in her life when she was about 19 went to the house of a Jamaican family and she experienced women doing other women's hair and yeah. it was a revelation for her she's like what's this about I've never in 19 years never experienced that connection and I'm like to me that was the norm and it was it's a coming together I think it also takes us back to our genetic African heritage, because we go back to history. Oh. That's what they did. It was an event, you know, that took place. It was very special. Um, hairstyle represented who you were in African culture. Mm. And, you know, the, the, it, was, it was almost ceremonial. You know, your, your hairstyle, the designs, the cane rows, the products that were used, they used very rich products, the, the, the cocoa butter, the shea butters, yeah. you know, um, in the hair. Because don't, don't forget, our hair is made up of keratin, which, which is oils. So fats, butters, you know, things like that, very rich. They even used the soil to do treatments. Mm. Very rich soil to, to do hair treatments. We're not going to go back that far, though. Well, we're not going back that far, but we, you know what? We use the clay for our faces, don't we? We use clay for masks. Yes. So, uh, and if you think about it, you know, there are certain products that, that may contain certain clays, but no, we're not going back that far, but we're going as far back as saying nutritional wise, the best of the best that we took for granted or we, we, we take that we have um, elevated, you know, to a different level but we elevated, but we lost some of those principles that really we should really have maintained. And I think now because of our woman empowerment movement and renewal, we are now going back to what we dropped off. We realize that those things are the most healthiest, most nutritional, they are, um, they are beneficial to us. You know, um, and we can identify that 
in terms of as far as we've, we've, where we've come now and what we are using in our hair. I mean, a lot of Derek's range are all natural products, you know? So in that respect, that's, that's really what our hair is crying out for. And, and I believe that's what we need to pass on, pass on, mm -hmm. pass on those stories, pass on those information, you know, to our, to our children, you know, and the coming together, having that conversation, you know, and recognizes as well that, that our hair is special. It's special in that I call it, we have bougie hair because we all have, <laughs> Seriously, we have bougie hair. Our hair will not settle just for any and anything. We don't have that necessarily. I mean, hair texture comes in different, hair types come in different texture, but every texture requires a different um, uh, mold or a different uh, technique or product. But I call our hair very bougie. You know, it's not a quick fix just to spend five minutes and brush it out, comb it out and we flow. No, it could take some hours. So I think once we start respecting the, the element of what God has given us in our hair, then we'll start learning to love our hair and see that hair work for us for the best possible experience. Oh, you know, there's a saying, wake, we don't have wake and shake, wash and go hair. No. Not at all. Time. We, have, we have wake and shake. Watch my fro. Fro <laughs> and go. I like that. Watch, watch my fro kind of hair. But Absolutely. Touching, touching, because they, they are women with hair. And look at yes. both of us are rocking short hair. They are That's sisters right. with, without hair. Because hair could be like, Derek Singh has black, bald women as well, could be as beautiful. Yes. Um, so there's probably a lot of women saying, well, I haven't got any hair. I've lost my hair. My hair is really short or... You're as beautiful with a full fro, or you could be completely bald and just as stunning. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. It's embracing what you have and yeah. loving what you have. You know, self-love really plays a major part on our well-being, our mental state, and the way in which our body responds just by us loving, loving ourselves okay, and embracing that. We Let's have nobody talk. to compete with but ourselves, and we set that pace. We set because how do we how do we help women? How do we help us love ourselves? What would you say would be um, the thing that we say to women? You've got to do this to love yourself. I believe we need to stop taking stop comparing ourselves mm -hmm. to other women, other people other things, what society says. Get inside ourselves, the mind, the spirit, the body. Just being grateful. There is a reason why God has made us the way we are. There Absolutely. is a reason why we have the hair we, we have. You know, a lot of it is to do with protection, whether it be from the elements, you know, whether to maintain heat, whether to express heat, allow heat to flow th through very easily. Afro hair in the heat conditions that we're in allows heat to flow through quite easily. So it also aids in cooling the body. You know, the curl of the hair, why we have the curl patterns we have. I think our hair is absolutely amazing. It's amazing. So I think we need to first of all, stop listening to the narrative of what other people say to define us. We need to define ourselves. Define ourselves. And celebrate Find us. out who, who we are. What makes us unique? What is in our DNA that makes us completely special? I would not give up this skin or this hair for, for no one. Nor would I. It's all I've known. I love we it. can do so much with our hair. Hence, that's why Derek has, has created this the, the, the nine elements, because we can do so much with our hair, you know, um, and learning to how to work with the hair, learning about our hair textures, our hair types, you know, there are so many elements, Ele ed educating ourselves as well, educating ourselves. And I mean, educating ourselves, not just reading books, but from professionals, 
Mm -hmm. professional, visiting a professional stylist who knows about hair. And then by doing that, following that information, you know, taking instructions as well, following up. I think a lot of the time we try to do things on our own and we, we, we self-educate and we become our own um, pharmacist in, in the hair care product range. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and yes, that can work in some aspects, you know, of good health, uh, nutrition, um, using some natural products, but sometimes using the natural products, you may misdiagnose what the hair actually needs. I always say not all oil, oils are equal. So you may be using an oil that's great for somebody that has maybe dry hair or dry scalp, but it may not be suited for the condition that your hair might need. So it's always good to have a professional consultation to give you that information. Then you can be diagnosed with using the right product line in order to get the best quality and results from your hair, for your hair type. Let's say, let's say let's, uh, they can be guided, not diagnosed. Guided, yeah, <laughs> guided. They can be guided. guided. They can be guided. Yeah. Because um, and with no intimidation, some people think it's... Um, uh, it's hard. You just want to make it fun and easy. It's us. It's got to be for, for me anyway. And the way I, I, I um, treat my clients, it's got to be fun and easy. So people know I can do this. This is me. Yes. I feel good about it. Uh, no complications at all. Absolutely. And that's I mean, where I believe, Gillian, it starts from the seat, which is the home. So educating oh. the parents, you know, allowing accessibility you know and then bringing that you know transferring them that to the children oh the kids are the kids are a must for me the kids are yes. a must but i just want to see them feel good love their hair i mean there's so much out there that says you've got to look a certain way to yes. become somebody you got to have a certain hair texture you got your skin's got to be we have to stop that from as you know yeah we, we had it before quite rightly and then uh society took over we've got to yes. take, take control of it again and get back to the beauty that we had years ago absolutely and, and i and i love the time that we are in now because it's about embracing our true self and accepting yeah. that so in that case our children are now seeing more of the natural movement in terms of um, people having the choice to wear their hair natural and not feeling that they have to um, conform to society's benchmark of what is acceptable. You know, bringing that natural movement. Also women are wearing their hair. It's lovely to see on TV, the news readers with you know, natural coils and curls and kinks and, you know, being able to identify. So I see seeing that narrative, um, I believe that's also setting very great sta uh, standards in terms of um, emulating or re reinforcing that we are beautiful, that our hair is naturally beautiful and it's ours and we can do so much with it you know so we're, we are we are slowly getting rid of the stereotypical that only straight hair works mm. you know or only permed hair works or only a weave works or only those are choices they're choices that people can make but it does not I do not have to um, get rid of my natural air, hair in order to feel accepted. That's right. This or is to this merge is where we, into society. This is where we come in as a professionals with consultation with our clients, yes. because we can help or direct um, a client what's best for their hair. I wear relaxed hair because I yes. like relaxed hair, Absolutely. but I take care of it. Yes. Uh, and it's, it's not for everybody. Natural hair isn't for every woman. No. Um, relaxed or chemically treated hair is not for every woman. Yes. But it, it's all about when we when you talk about professionals and consultations, when somebody speaks with us, we can understand their lifestyle, their story yes. to help direct them in a path that is good for them 
in terms of their hair. I mean, there's lots of things that we get told. We, we're, we're psychiatrists sometimes when somebody sits in your chair, they tell you a whole lot more than just about their hair. You know about That's their right. whole lifestyle, their marriage, their kids, their problems, Absolutely. their diet. We become dietitians sometimes. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's therapy, isn't it? We're offering a, a, we're offering a package. It's Absolutely. not just about the hair. We are the psychi psychiatrists. We are therapists. You know, we are also advisors, spiritually, <laughs> emotionally, you know, and we're secret keepers. You know, people come in and they leave different. You know, they leave different, Pro providing that we are as professionals executing what we, we, are, we are trained to do and what we have a passion to do, you know. And it's not just that, but it's also caring. I take, I take a very, um, I, I take great pride in knowing that when somebody sits in my hair, it's not just about me doing their hair. It's about me caring and connecting with that's that person. Right. That's right. You I know. wish I could have shared a video that I had with the lady that I did. And I think I shared it with Derek, actually. Oh, yes. At the end of the thing, she says, I've never felt this good. And it wasn't just about the hair. We had a lifetime story. Absolutely. But it's like when, when you take that person into UK, you're taking on a whole a whole package of this person. Yes. So yes. Um, I love my job for that. And yes. you say we are big uh, secret keepers. You got to keep the secret. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a safe space to be. And that's what I love. It's a safe space to be, you know, um, people come in and, you know, you, you build, you build connections, mm -hmm. you know, that are lifelong long and lasting. You know, it's connections. It's connections that definitely they are saving a lot of money going to the psychiatrist, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Come to us, we'll get it all. <laughs> Absolutely. But then to, to emotionally be able to release that, you know, and, and then also encourage them or assist them in getting clarity. Then addressing the physical, the external, they're getting a major package. I think I'm underpaid here. <laughs> I need to charge more. <laughs> I, I think but but that's, that people... makes me feel good. I really, I feel so good because I am not just offering a, a service or a product, but I am, I am helping someone to become whole and identify with who they really are and bring them better about themselves. another, yes, another place. So I think that's, that's important. So the boys need to come and sit in our chair, I think. We might help <laughs> Oh, you. yes. Women Absolutely. empower you. You need to Absolutely. sit in our chair. Tell us your story and we can guide you. <laughs> even, even, with, even without hair, we can massage that scalp. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Just for relaxation. Scalp. Just for relaxation. Scalp care is most important. <laughs> Absolutely. The only Absolutely. problem is we cannot reveal our secrets. To you. No. <laughs> Why not? You can trust us. Of course we can. We, we birthed you. you can yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Without us, there's no you. We birthed no... you. Carried you. Don't we know that? We, we know. We know. Don't, don't, let me go there. don't let me go there. I'm, I'm going to keep quiet now, I think. It's, it's all about empowerment, whether it's male or female, it's all about empowerment. You know, okay. I've had, uh, I do barbering as well. I'm, I'm a professional barber as well. And um, I've had um, a few men that do come to me. Again, I love to connect with men in terms of just knowing how they think, what they feel. After all, I gave birth to three, three men. So it's always <laughs> nice to be able to connect and just hear a man's view you know, how they think and what they feel. You know, sometimes some, some men come in, they, they do things for themselves. So having somebody else come in and, mm -hmm. and um, put hands on them, as they would say, <laughs> just being able to massage that scalp, you know, release some of that tension, a scalp massage, you know, petrissage, you know, effleurage. A lot of men just having that, and women, just release so much tension 
you know, and, and then in turn, you know, putting back those moistures back in the hair, men, men actually do leave really refreshed. Yeah. And regurgitated, you know, and releasing some of the endomorphins, you know, um, <laughs> in, in the body, they're ready to go. <laughs> that, that's why we developed K77 by Derek Clement. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, the male range. I see. There I saw you go. In you mentioning that, I saw Rudy lean back a bit thinking, I want some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rudy, be honest. Come on, Rudy, change your barber. <laughs> or your hairdresser. I, I, I need two barbers. Okay. <laughs> I'm learning, I'm learning my fading technique so I can get more guys in my chair. Yes. yes. My barbering techniques. It's it's amazing, honestly. <laughs> so oh. Tell us about K77, now we're talking about guys. Yeah. Right, so um, K77 is a subsidiary of the Derek Clement range. And um, it's there's one, two, three, four items. But one of the, my favorite items would be the antibacterial, which is ideal for in these times, COVID, this COVID era where, you, you, you know, a lot of guys, would suffer. Angela, you should know this. Lots of men suffer from keloids. Yes. You go into a barber shop, and uh, there was a time when barbers were not very hygiene. So you, yes. You're passing the clipper from one head to the next. Yes. And you're passing all kind of you know, bacteria. Dodgy. Right. Yeah. So this, I this is ideal. That so your your boyfriend, your husband, or your son should have this in his bag, and. When he gets into the bar, when everything settles down, we go back to the barber shop. He uses this to protect his scalp and his skin. Uh, you spray it around the hairline. I do it all the time myself. Yes. Uh, it's perfect antibacterial spray. And we've got the uh, lock and beard oil, which is um, again Jamaica black castor oil. Brilliant oil, very, very, it's just nice and soft, perfect for the locks. And we've got the uh, We've got the face and body scrub with the black jacks, which is brilliant. Uh, but and they, we also they got can the, use that for shaving as well. Well, absolutely. Yeah. We've also yeah. got the uh, the lock three in one oil. So you've got your lock. So no one's left out. No hair's left behind. Excellent. No hair's left behind. Yeah. Uh, all hair matters in yeah, so our the, dynamic. There's the beard and scalp oil. Mm which is a very good product for, for yeah. those of us who have... Yeah, because a lot of guys who have beards now are very much into facial... Uh, yeah. Grooming. Grooming, absolutely. Yeah. 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 And yeah. also educating the men on the importance of good grooming and why you do need to take care of the beard on your face as well as the, the hair and the scalp. Right. Mm -hmm. You absolutely. know, because a, a lot of the times the beard... He, uh, on the face becomes dry. It's it's very delicate. It's facial hair, but it's it's hair that's, that's right. the same as the the mm. head. So it's important that you do shampoo it and also massage. Put moisturizers in it. To I mean, Derek's got a fantastic beard. Some men are trying to also grow their beard, but they're not aware that they also may have to take some vitamins in order oh. to help. Um, in terms of the, the, the hair growth, not just on the head, but even on the face. And if they haven't got it on the, the head, then the face, you know, nutrition is, is very important. Yeah. So- you raise, a very good, you raise a very good point there, a, a, a pet topic of mine, because mm. uh, our body is a temple. It's a beautiful physiological temple. Yes. Uh, and that, that could, re it, it, re it can regenerate itself by itself assuming you uh you you consume the right foods Food. and mm -hmm. uh and the reason why i say this what's nice about the body i want to say vis just visualize that your body uh has its own ecosystem for the hair so the hair the, the hair is the hair doesn't have, need to rely on outside forces the hair has its own little unique ecosystem there at the base mm -hmm. of the scalp in the sebaceous gland pumping out natural oils to, to ensure that the hair gets fed. Uh, and, and so that to me is, is wonderful. So as we're talking about body and food and the idea of eating well, then of yes. course it is in the eating well, we get healthy hair. And that eating well ensures that you are having the right nutrients 
in the body because sometimes people might say, well, I'm eating well, I eat vegetables or I have fruits, but they may not be having enough of it. Or they may say that I drink water or I work out, but it may not be conducive maybe to their lifestyle and according to what the body needs. So in some cases that, that may be uh, an, an additional um, um, disadvantage really as to why they may be losing hair or not able to, to grow their hair, the, the beard fully. And again, the same for, for women, you know, uh, it's ensuring that we are eating as much um, vegetables, which is nutrients and having the oils, good food really, because so much of the products are chemically based. And I think in times like now where people became that little bit more um, considerate as to what they were putting in their body because of COVID, COVID oh, they, they weren't slack in just eating the, the, the regular things. They were actively going out and finding the vegetables and oh, finding yeah. the, 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 you know, the natural <laughs> formulas to put in the, into the body. And, and we, we really shouldn't wait for a crisis to consider our health you know yeah. it and, early and so this is what i believe covid has done is that it shocked people into thinking more carefully i've not seen more videos about boiling um lemon and orange and ginger and garlic than i have in my <laughs> lifetime i mean everyone's a, a, a scientist or everyone's a nutritionist okay. and everyone's got their cocktail of what their great grandparents used to do and what happened and that's yeah. great because that awareness was there, but we need to continue with that. Yeah. You know, that's the natural ecosystem that literally aids the body. That's the medicine. That's the natural medicine, isn't it? That we are saying on encouraging daily that we should be um, consuming, you know, so that we, our bodies are healthy. And if our bodies are healthy, everything else will function accordingly. It's Absolutely. It's bringing it back to, to, to what we had a long time ago, isn't it? Absolutely. It's going back, like I said in the beginning, Absolutely. it's bringing back the, the stuff. In the Absolutely. beginning of COVID, what was the biggest care that we had? Foods running out, the shelves are empty. <laughs> but you walk, you walk into the supermarket, the fruit and veg was all there. Absolutely. <laughs> it's yes. all there. But the packet things on the shelf is what everybody was running for. And it was running out, running out. And they're leaving the, the, the healthy stuff. Healthy things, yeah. You know, you should have 80, 20, 80, yes. that's how I call 80 of greens and vegetables, 20 of meat. 20%. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's, it's all about bringing it back. Uh, I've got a young lady in Grenada. So Hi, Aloma. Aloma from Grenada. Yes, we are. We will be sending products to Grenada very soon. Well, Grenada's uh, asking. Grenada is asking. <laughs> brilliant. Come on, Grenada. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> Islanders. It's brilliant. Great conversation, guys. I love this, uh, Julie. I love this, Angela. I love, I love the approach. I like what Julian said earlier on, the idea of going back and uh, like what grandmothers used to do, the whole, yes. the whole wash day procedure where uh, moms wash their little girls here. I, I, I like the whole philosophy. We have to train the young. So, yes. share, so, so, so the range talks about children's hair, we care. Okay. Children's hair, we care. I mean, you've seen my daughter, Delore. I mean, Delore uses all the range on her hair. Uh, my other daughter, Dorica, whose hair touches the bottom practically, she uses the entire range. So very good point, you guys, about going back. Uh, very much a Sankofa moment, going back to get it, to ensure that what we use is going to be wholesome and healthy. Great conversation, definitely. Absolutely. That, and and I, be I believe every island or every part of Africa has, when you, when you, you talk about the products, Derek, is that we, it's so synonymous. We are so uniquely linked. So even if you're coming from Africa, there is an element of African products that we in the Caribbean can identify with, you know, and in terms of consuming. So whether it's the coconut, whether it's the shea butter, whether it's the, the coconut oils, you know, um, the, the, the merengue or the uh, aloe vera, you know, all those different types of oils that we may, we may use, you know, it's, it's interconnected. So we're not far away from our genetic 
structure or programming for in, for exactly what the hair and the body needs. You know, very good point, um, Angela. And that's my, that's been my point from uh, uh, from time immemorial. Drink your drink your shampoo. Drink that's your right. Conditioner. I mean, it's only it's a, the aunt is always two feet away. Uh, coconut, you've mentioned coconut. You've mentioned all these wonderful sustainable products that's good for your hair. So we're never promoting just about the outside, but about the inside as well. Great point, absolutely, Angela. absolutely. Yes. And even with the Jamaican castor oil, they do have um, the um, the oil that you can actually take. Um, the actual Jamaican castor oil that is that is designated for consumption. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you are also lubricating and feeding the hair internally, That's you it. know, so knowing what oils to use, depending on what the body needs, is also vital to hair care. Mm -hmm. Crucial. Yeah. Good point, Angela. We've actually, we've, uh, we should have very soon the oils for the hair uh, and they'll come, they'll, they'll be in those little bottles okay. no that's the, that's for drinking is it Derek that's right that's the food grade food grade to make a black oil okay what does uh, it taste what does it taste like <laughs> very <laughs> nice <laughs> very nice indeed <laughs> very, very nice, nice. <laughs> excellent <laughs> it's only you only need a couple of drops on the town is it on the town yeah. Yeah. Love, under the town and you're good to go right. it's, it's not I just the hair the it's the skin it's the entire body you know so it's aiding in healing you know if you've got scars um if you need collagen you know plump up that skin why is it that we look so young that's part <laughs> of it because we are so rich with the oils in our food that's hey. right. That's right. Hey. k77 that's we have the hair hair scalp and skin sheer butter that's right and it's Excellent. great to put under the eyes as well there you go Ooh. Oh, there you go. Every that's day, just rub it in on the, on the, on eyes. the eyes. Every so day. So that's why you look so young, Rudy. I get yeah. it. I, I, I thought I'd better at least share one secret of <laughs> Thank you. Of mine. <laughs> it shows that we yeah. can see. <laughs> that's, why, that's why we made sure in the men's range that, you know, ever young. There's many men who want to be ever young. So. Um, very good point, yeah. very good point, Angela. If you can't, Jenny, uh, if you can't conceal the, the castor oil, make a smoothie. That's right. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. Which is great. That's the best way to get it into your system, actually. Mango. Mango. Uh, fire. Uh, uh, drop some coconut uh, uh, castor oil in there and you're good to go. And what's great about that, of course, sometimes, as we know, the way fruit is um, uh, ripened, by the time we get it, after the next day or two days, it, it appears to have gone off. But, gone off. but yeah. to make it into a smoothie, into a smoothie. that's about the sustainability, isn't it? Yes. Right. It's the best way to get your vitamins, in fact, because in order for the, 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 the body to, um, to maintain its, to alkalize the body, you need yeah. roughly about 30 pounds of uh, fruits and vegetables mm. per, per, per day to maintain the health of the body. And you can't literally eat all of that in one go. So mm. doing a smoothie, you mm. know, with your spinach, which has got your irons in it and right. um, putting in your, your, your natural oils, you know, your fruits it could be the berry. The berry group is excellent for um, neutralizing and yeah. acidity in the body. Blueberries. You know, um, blueberries, blackberries, all the berry groups are, are, are amazing you know, um, and, and using your kale. So you're getting your greens as well, your ginger, you know, um, using all of those natural elements is a natural way of consuming your vitamins. That's, that's and, needed. And, and very good point, Angela, all those are hair growth enhancers. Absolutely, oh, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. Uh, Vitamin B skin. complex, biotin, all those things, zinc, you know, um, the, those are vital information that the body needs in order to keep the ecosystem going. Great, great. Right, we're, we're now coming down to the last 15 minutes or so. Okay. So I, I think it, it might be nice to have a, a recap from yourselves and then Derek, take us back through the line. So I think that'd be good. Okay, ladies, don't forget to moisturize, love your hair. 
celebrate your crown, feel amazing, look amazing. I don't know what you want to add to that, Angela, because we didn't talk about hair extensions. Uh, no, know. that's for another day. That's okay. for another day. We do have to take care of the health of the hair and the scalp, the scalp first. That's vital to any hair extension. So we can do that another day uh, because there are some people who may have mm. hair and scalp issues. But I think, mm. first of all, if we really just educate everyone on the health of the hair, the body and the importance of having healthy hair, then, then we can move on to the, the next areas of yeah. when to apply an extension or a wig and when, when that's needed. Yeah. So yeah. again, healthy mind, healthy body, loving yourself, you know, and embracing what you have. We are special. We have, or we are special. And each day we have, we wake up, we look at ourselves and just say, thank you. Thank you, arm. Thank you, head. Thank you, body, for taking me thus far. You know, so put all the goodness in and, and send that love, most yeah. importantly. Definitely. Great point, Great point Angela. I like yeah. that, it. Very good point. So I'm going to run through the range one more time, very, very briefly. Uh, so we've got uh, what to the range consists of nine individual products, okay, nine individual items. And as Jillian said, why not? It's not too much. It's not. It's not overdoing it because it's all about that that wash day and pampering yourself. So we are going to shampoo the hair with the, the Daryl Clement shampoo. First step, very gently, not too much. Uh, and the reason why I say that is I think your hair needs moisture, hydration, nutrient. So your shampoo is for cleansing, the cleansing shampoo. Very, this is a wonderful shampoo, great, great, great fragrance, great consistency. Um, and once you've bought the kit, this will last you for ages, actually, as, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. so you shampoo the hair once, and you continue to shampoo with the co-wash, okay? So you continue to shampoo with the co-wash, and then, of course, you condition the So that's your first tear, that's your, that's your first, that's your rinse off. Okay. Any question there, Julie, Angela? No, nope. sounds good. Or clear. That's great. That's it. And of course, we move into the second tier, which would be the, at this stage, we're leaving things in. And the reason, the reason for leaves, leaving things in, because we're healing the hair. So it starts with the height, with the nourishment. And the nourishment is, 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 is the, the, the mystic healing mist, which is made, which is made from Bohabab. And that would provide for you the nourishment. This is pure vitamins, by the way, guys. Okay, this is followed by, so you, you apply the nourishment and then you will apply the hydrator, followed by the moisturizer. That's what he had. I means. love, love, love the hydrator. Sorry. Yeah, it's, thank you very Me much. Me too. <laughs> love it. When I use it on, on hair, I just see and feel a difference. That's that's my favorite one. That's great. And, and, and let me say that, these hydrators are actually wonderful because, of course, it's great humectant and it's a great emollient. And you put them together as you, you cocktail, cocktail them. them. You cocktail, cocktail them. them. Right, one, boom, that goes there. Uh, and you apply this all over the hair. That goes there. And you can even apply the uh, moisture. I did it, this should go like this. Put it all together. And uh, if I can use my beard as a demonstration, boom, goes on like this. Very, very yes. simple. And it just moisturizes. Just, just show us the palm of your hand, Derek, the consistency of what you make. So you can uh, Nice and smooth. Yeah. Right? Nice and smooth. Yeah. Okay. And it's then the last, the last tier would be your feeding tier, which is the, begins with the hemp. And the hemp is ideally, the hemp is hemp is, is hair hair growth treatment, which is actually very good for hair clients who are suffering cicatricial alopecia or the, the crown is breaking off or the sides is receding, uh, the back is actually break, breaking. This, this is fantastic. This is the hair growth treatment. And of course, we've got the hair and scalp food. This is again for your hair, perfect as a heat protector. If you're using a GHD or blow dryer or wrapping your hair, again, very, very gentle, great consistency, nice and smooth. Shea butter base, their Jamaican castor oil and vitamins, tons of vitamins in there. There's actually coconut in there as well. And you've got your sheen oil. This is the real meat and potatoes, the real food. I love this. You carry this around with you every day. Spray on your scalp like the nice. bear goes on there and it's perfect. So there you are guys, that's the range.
That's the direct credit range, nine individual items, and it is the most sublime range on the market at the moment in the UK. I can't imagine anybody not being excited after all this. Actually, you get excited it's, because there's so much going on. You think I want to try that? I want to try indeed, that. Indeed, indeed. It's, it's the number one community brand. Yeah, and it's the, excellent. Very excellent hair care system. It's not too much. Why not? Why pamper yourself? Pamper your hair. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Great. What, what, I, what I want to say, Derek, is that what I love about the range is that the products are not overly greasy. They're not like <laughs> dripping greasy. They are hydrating and moisturizing. So you're not going to leave a residue on somebody's sofa just because you've applied the products. You know, you remember those products where you sat back yeah. and... Oh, you know, <laughs> I, I love the way it leaves the hair. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Well, Derek, so what, what we need to do next time is get some of the people who have used the product on because my sister in Grenada, she should be on this, on this channel. Yes. Oh, really? why wasn't she? <laughs> she is well, like, next, well, well, I next. used... I Next used Saturday. the shampoo and this is what I felt. Then Next I used the foot wash and this is what I felt. And she was excited and steamed up with every level of what, what she was using. And I thought, this is what we need. <laughs> yeah. We are well, professionals, we use it, but we right, need the so humor. Next, next, next Saturday, next Saturday is, is the Grenada Lifestyle Link. That's the Airx weekend. The I'll have to get we'll her start on. later. It's all about Grenada. It's because it's the third, it's what our our Afro Hair and Beauty Legends weekend. Because going back 40 years, the third week weekend in March was always the start of the hair care. Uh, That's right. All the events and all the seminars because um, Afro Hair and Beauty by Dyke and Dryden, that yeah. set the whole year ahead. So again, we've gone back to go forward. We've gone back and it's about renewal, understanding where we come from. And so the link a link up with uh, Grenada Lifestyle next week. So we start later. So we start about eight or nine o'clock uh, UK time in order to link up with uh, with with Grenada. So that, that should be you great. Know, guys, Grenada next week. Look, I'm looking forward to it. We need all the testimonials. Rachel, we need the testimonial, my darling. Yeah, I should right. get some people on next week. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's All right. So take day. care. Bye. Love thank you. Thank time. you. Thank you. It's a fun. Take care. Thank you so much.